Welcome to class, ladies and gentlemen. I am Tudor Frank from Tudor ICT Academy, where we offer professional training and solutions. Today in our class, I want to look at QuickBooks accounting software. QuickBooks have been in existence for over 40 years, and uh, this is uh, equally recommended as the best accounting software for small businesses across the world. Now, QuickBooks is basically for inventory management, purchase and sales, income and expense management, etc. What you are seeing is the current interface. The current web page of uh, QuickBooks accounting software. So, they deal with uh, small businesses and uh, accounting. I mean, accountants make use of this software. The pricing is somewhere here, and then what you can actually learn and support the materials that help you learn. So today, I want to go straight to how we can sign up on QuickBooks Accounting. That's the most important thing you learn when you want to start learning QuickBooks. That's the very first thing you must know how to do. So let's see what we can, how we can sign up on QuickBooks. All right. As I scroll up here, we have that uh, QuickBooks have three different plans. We have the simple stats, we have essentials, and we have uh, the plus. Now, I would like you to understand that um, the fees you are seeing here is actually a bonanza. To confirm the annual fee for QuickBooks, you can see here currently you will pay up to seventy. I'm sorry, ninety-seven dollar for ninety-seven dollars for a simple start, one hundred forty-five dollars for essentials, and the plus plan will go for two hundred and five dollar fifty and uh, twenty cents, as you can see here. Now, when you look at the the differences between the three, if you want to know the differences between the three plans. You can easily look at what we have here. This is what comes with the simple stats. The essential at these ones. And then when you go to the, the plus, you can have all of this. Now, the most amazing part is that um, QuickBooks have the, as in give you the ability to try the application. You can actually start a try for 30 days before you can make any payments. By try, it means you can actually use the application for 30 days free of charge. So that is what I mean. Today, we are going to use the try version of uh, the most important plan, which is the, the plus. So I'm going to come down and click on start free try. For those of you who don't know how to get over, as in how to get to this page, you can get to the page using this uh, URL, as you can see on the screen. This is the URL I got to be here. So right here, I click on simple start free try. Okay. As I click on start free try, it's going to take a little while. Before now, you have to prepare some data you may need to sign up, like your, your official email address, the official email address you want to use for your QuickBooks account, and then um, other information about the company like your company address, the local, and any other information must be available. So right here, the first thing requires the mail. So I just type the, I just type a mail. Let me look for one of my mail I can use here. Um, okay. Okay, let me try this one. If I haven't used it before on QuickBooks, then I'll be able to sign in. This pop-up, I need to close this uh, This pop-up, sorry. My antivirus, the old version is just stopping. I have to remove that letter. Okay, so the email address is accepted. Then my first name, first name is Tudor. Then my last name, my last name is Asian. Okay, my last name is not Frank. Francis is my father's name, so I choose to answer to the Frank. Down here on phone number, I have uh, 
my Nigerian phone number. You know, if if your country is not alighted here, you have to choose your country from here before you put the phone number. So my phone number official line is this line. 8601139 Then I have to bring in a strong password that must obey these rules. Uh, at least eight characters, uppercase and lowercase. You must include a number and a symbol. So I can type something of that nature. Let me try. So I think my password is okay. I go ahead. I can uncheck this because I don't want to be receiving much mails from uh, QuickBooks. I click on this one more step. Let's see what they got. I would like to save my password so in case I want to log into QuickBooks, they will just free me to log in. So I click on save. All right. QuickBooks is loading, loading, loading. Let's wait to see the next stage. All right, as it is loading, I'm going to pause the video here. I know this is not going to take a long while, but we will continue from the next video. But for those that may want to see what happened, how long it took to load, let me just wait a little. So once, once this is done, we'll end the video and then we continue in the next um, video. Please stay with us. I am Tudor Frank. I actually train people on how to use professional accounting software, which QuickBooks happen to be one of them. All right. So this is the first page you're going to see after you sign up with your details. So in the next video, I'm going to show you what to do next, having been here. Thank you very much. And God bless you. I am Tudor Frank.